Oh, folks, is that it right there? This is, oh no, this is the other Kirby that came out earlier this year. I'm at Best Buy right now, literally the day that the new Kirby game, Kirby Deluxe, comes out. It's the first time that game has been re-released in 12 years, and I'm trying to get it here on day one in the Switch section. But at first glance here, I'm honestly not seeing it. Ooh, look at this though, Super Meat Boy Forever. I've actually had the original version of this game before, but never the sequel. It's also limited run, so that's something I'd love to have, especially for 34 bucks, dang. But folks, I need to focus here. I'm on a Kirby mission today. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby. I'm honestly not seeing it at all. Ooh, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. That's interesting. Granted, it is only 17 minutes after they open, so they may have not put it out on the shelves yet. The other thing I'm noticing, though, is that their most recent games are all 60 bucks, and at Walmart, they would be 50. So it may be better that we get them at Walmart anyway. The thing is, I'm really wanting to impulse buy these two Switch games, because I'm on a mission to build a 250 game Switch collection for no money out of pocket. The only problem is we haven't made any money today. So to build my Switch budget by looking for underpriced flippable games, I've come to one of my favorite local stores, Game Exchange. Oh look, it's the reason that my grandma doesn't watch my YouTube channel. Is that funny, Riff? Cut it if it's not funny. Well, folks, editing Caleb here, I'm sure you're probably wondering, Caleb, why the heck, where's Riff? He's like the best part of your videos. And the unfortunate reality is, my game room just flooded. So yeah, obviously Riff's not gonna be doing any editing today. And unfortunately, at the time I'm editing this, this video goes out tomorrow, so I'm jumping in. The good news is Riff is okay, his whole family is okay, his house is okay. He did lose about a couple hundred dollars worth of inventory that he had on the floor, but all of his tech is fine. So there's a lot to be grateful for. The bad news is this video is probably gonna suck a lot more than usual because I'm a little bit rusty on the editing. So anyway, make sure to show Riff a bunch of love in the comments today, and he'll be back on the grind next week. So folks, the object of today's game is to get enough expected profit to cover the like $50 to $60 cost of the new Kirby game. Ooh, and this game may be a great example, yeah. 37 bucks on this game. I actually recently sold this for 65 on Amazon or around like 50 or so after fees, which would lead us a $13 profit. In other words, 13 bucks towards our Switch game. This is one that's close but no cigar. 19 bucks on Paranormal Activity, unfortunately, would get us 24 after fees. There's just not quite enough meat on that bone, so I'm gonna pass. There's something I don't see every day. Multiple, wow, look at that. One, two, three, four complete Mega Man games. They're pretty good prices for complete, but not quite low enough for my margins. Folks, if you've got a business that involves shipping stuff, you know what a pain it can be. From finding the cheapest rates, to keeping everything organized, to worrying about returns, the shipping process can be an all-around headache, but that's where this video's sponsor, ShipStation, comes into play. Huge online retailers have made for stiff competition for small businesses like us, and if your shipping game isn't on point, it's even easier to fall behind. ShipStation allows you to ship with the speed and skill of even the biggest players, all while knowing you're getting the best deal possible. When you use ShipStation, you can lower shipping costs, tackle returns with ease, and keep your customers happy. It lets you automate shipping tasks, print shipping labels, and easily compare rates and delivery times to optimize every shipment. So if you've got a bin like this of inventory to ship out, you can rest easy knowing that it will be as efficient as possible. And with the best discounts around, you never have to worry about overpaying for shipping again. Keep growing your business business all year long with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com slash Phoenix Resale to sign up for your 60-day free trial. That's ShipStation.com slash Phoenix Resale. Oh, that is very weird. Look at this. We've got not one, but two sealed games here. Sean White and Sports Champions. The reason it's strange is normally Game Exchange has a policy of opening every game that they get. And it looks like these are just priced as used, which could be a really good sign. But let's see what the Amazon seller app here. This is the Sean White game that was priced at five bucks. Dang, folks, new condition, $28 after fees. That's amazing. Sports Champions up next. This one's only priced at three bucks and new condition oh shoot folks looks like i'm not actually eligible if i was i could sell it for 23 that's crazy <laughs> look there's another one that's crazy the walking dead Ooh, best buy exclusive and look at this folks seven bucks and 
38 after fees. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. That brings us up to an astonishing $67 Switch budget at one stop, which I think is more than enough to take a little peek at their Switch section. And they definitely have some iconic titles here. We've already got Arceus. I don't think we have Yoshi's Crafted World. I think we got Pokemon Snap in our second Mission Switch episode. Oh, and look at that. It's the reason I got spanked so much as a kid. But back to the task at hand here, one that definitely caught my eye. You guys know I love collection games. I am a total sucker for the consumer psychology of feeling like I'm getting two games in one. And at 20 bucks, I just think this is a really solid deal. It looks like they do actually have Pikmin 3 though, which I've been really wanting to play recently. And I actually do have kind of an embarrassing confession for you guys. I have never played a Pikmin game. The only downside of getting these two games is it would leave us with a budget of only $7, but honestly, I have enough faith in our next couple stops that we'll be able to get enough profit for Kirby eventually. So folks, not only do we have our first two games going into the Switch collection today, oh, crap, which I'm stoked about, but we also have a very special guest traveling with us. Say hi, Elsie. I couldn't care less about your stupid game. The best game hunter in the world. Please shave. So the next stop on our Kirby quest is going to be Dan's Discount Pawn. Their pricing tends to be a little bit unpredictable, so stops like this are usually either really good or really bad. Only one way to find out for this one. All right, video game section incoming. Time to see if they've gotten anything interesting in recently. Just dance, not really. Star Wars, no. That's like a $13 game. Games here are two for 15, which is honestly a pretty solid deal. You just have to be able to find games that are worth like, you know, at least 12 bucks or more individually for it to be worth it. Oh wait, what? Shart, this is actually a movie and it comes in a purse? I can't be the only one that secretly liked High School Musical. <laughs> Unfortunately, the highest value uh, PS4 game was only worth about 10 or so after fees, so we're gonna pass on these, but I did see they did. It looks like they have gotten some PS3 games in recently. This one, I can't remember if that's worth anything. Gran Turismo, maybe. I'm gonna scan these as well. Not seeing anything in the Wii section. PS2, yeah, definitely nothing to write home about. Well, Elsie, I have to be honest, after that stop, I'm starting to wonder a little bit whether buying these two Switch games at the beginning instead of Kirby might have been a mistake. This whole channel is a mistake. Okay, that's just rude. You don't pay me enough to coddle you. But ultimately, folks, it's like they always say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try a Dan. Ooh, would you look at that? I do not see that every day. The Mario Edition Nintendo Switch. Looks like it doesn't have a dock, but still 200 bucks is not bad. Well, folks, unfortunately, there was nothing good in the glass case that I could find. So I'm coming back here to the corner with the older games to see if we can change our luck. It does look like they've had some probably recently traded in PS3 games. God of War collection might be decent, actually. Let's see if my hunch is right on that one. Oh yeah, dang, it's showing 30 bucks after fees. That's definitely more than I remembered. Probably mostly due to Ragnarok coming out, but I will take it. I'm pretty sure PS3 stuff is like either one or $3 a piece here too. So that should be some really solid profit. I guess it's possible that this one could have gone up in price too. Let's see, come on, big money, big money. Uh, 90 cents, not so much. Ooh, but folks, it looks like we aren't even done because we've got a whole section up here that I haven't looked at. I wonder if these were traded in recently as well. Not really seeing anything but low dollar sports games over here. But ooh, what do we have here? A little Mortal Kombat. Aha, uh -huh, don't mind if I do, five bucks. Uh, GTA 5, not bad. Honestly, a little bit nasty though. Ooh, but folks, this is a sleeper right here. Pac-Man The Ghostly Adventures. Uh, looks like it is missing manual if it did originally come with one but I'm fairly sure this is like a $15 game. Let's see. Ah, oh, I was close. Looks like 11 bucks, but I will take that for either one or three. I can't remember. Well, folks, as it turns out, I was wrong about the prices. I took these, slapped them up on the counter, and she said, five bucks. And I said, how about four? And she said, no, it, it's five. And I said, okay. And that's gonna bring us up from $7 up to 48 in a single stop. I'm telling you, folks, I can basically smell Kirby right now, and he, I think actually wears Aqua Di Gio. Also folks, it's day number 1112 of giving Chipotle free advertising until they sponsor me. Chipotle, it's Elsie's favorite meal.
You only give me kibble, you greedy So folks, for those of you who've been keeping track, that leaves just a $3 deficit. At least, I think it's $3. It should be 50 bucks at Walmart, right? A 3 to $13 deficit before we can buy Kirby. So for that, we're going into another game exchange to find some stuff to flippity flip. I don't know about you guys, but it has been way too long since I looked at Switch games. Although, honestly, this is definitely going to tempt me to spend our money again. Ooh. Folks, I was looking at Switch games, but I spied a little Family Guy PSP game. These often go for more for me on Amazon than they do in video game stores. The only unfortunate thing is it looks like it is missing the manual. Oh uh, yeah, folks, look at that. 45 after fees, that's crazy. Which even if we knock off 10 for the no manual, that still leaves us $15 in profit and puts our total Switch budget at 62. I'm gonna keep looking for a little bit more profit though, because if we can get like 20 to 30 more bucks, we could round out the day with two games instead of just Kirby at Walmart. Ooh, folks, ask and you shall receive. Look what I just found in the wrong section, by the way. James Cameron's Avatar at 13 bucks. Because of the movie, it's a little bit spiked. Looks like $19 for that after fees. Not a crazy profit or anything, but I'll take six bucks. Folks, we're killing it with the PS3 today. Look what I just found. Literally right next to it, 20 bucks for Hyper Dimension Neptunia MK2, which will go for 31. And that puts our overall Switch budget at $79. Woo! And another seven bucks for Lord of the Rings makes 86. Folks, I've gotta be honest, I don't know if I've ever felt richer than walking into a Walmart with $86 to spend on Switch games. Honestly, I'm considering just buying the whole place out at this point. Excuse me, ma'am, I would like everything, please. Oh, no, it's it's fine. $86. But folks, this right here is the moment of truth. Will they actually have it in stock? I'm not seeing it. Oh, they've got the Return to Dreamland. Yes, there it is. Man, folks, I have not been this excited to see a fat penguin since my trip to that sketchy rural Kentucky petting zoo. The only problem is, looks like it is indeed starting at the full $60, which I probably should have expected. That leaves us $26 to play with for our last game of the day which will restrict us to the budget game section over here. That is, I guess unless I could find some unmarked clearance games here in the cheap game section. So I think I'm just gonna scan through a good number of these low dollar games with the Walmart app and see if any are like secretly discounted. Well folks, after scanning all the games in the clearance section, I did find one single one that is marked down to $8. It'll only flip for 14, but that does put us over the $30 hump for our final Switch game. Let's see what we can find. Ooh, Tony Hawk 1 and 2 is a few bucks outside of our price range. I honestly can't remember if we have that one in the collection at this point. Team Sonic Racing is cheap, but I honestly haven't heard great things about it. Ooh, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl is one that we saw at Best Buy that I liked. I'm just not sure if it matters that it's not the Ultimate Edition. The big wild card for me would be Death's Door. I have no idea what that game is about. It just looks kind of cool. But then again, easily the most iconic potential game would be this one right here, Minecraft. One of the most played games in the world, which actually is $30. Let me know which one you guys would choose in the comments. It looks like I've got a pretty tough decision ahead of me. A drum roll, please. Bet on it, bet on it. Thanks for the help, Elsie. Pay me or I'll unionize. Folks, if you guys want to see the next Mission Switch episode where my subscribers control all the games I collect, check out this video right down here and I will catch you guys on the flip.